Good afternoon, everyone. We are from Group 7. So today, we want to present about our report title, which is Smart Parking System. So I will explain about the introduction and the problem statement. So now today, there are many malls have been one of the essential places for the people to buy goods and the products. Here is the modern era. It is a guarantee that every city in any developing country would at least have two or three malls nearby. But if you are the citizen in the Clangwary area, you can take a ride by LRT or MRT. But if you are if in other areas such as uh, Kwantan, Kanga and so on, so you need to take by a car. So let's go to the problem statement of the report. So the problem statement for this report is uh, three. So the first one is about the confusion of the driver. So if let's say if they need to search their parking space in the shopping lot, uh, in the shopping mall, so they will feel confused because there are many cars uh, parking at their side. So they need to spend some time to parking, find the parking at the shopping mall. So for the second one is wasted of time. So they need to spend more time to find the empty parking space in the shopping mall. So for the third one is lead to congestion in the parking space. So it means that they will have something like the traffic jam in the shopping mall if they need to find the parking in the shopping mall. So for the significant of problem, you also have three. So the first one is early planning. So they need to they can do the early planning if they go to shopping mall. <coughs> so for second one is reduce the time and money consumption. So they can save their time and money if they are using this solution to find the parking lot. So for the third one is probability and accessibility. So they have the probability and accessibility to search their empty parking space in the shopping mall. So that's all for my part. So I will present so I the objective of the project. We have three objectives over here. The first one is to propose a solution for the current problem. Meaning that we have to find a solution for the problem that we stated in the project. So the problem is uh, user, the driver uh, difficult want to uh, that need difficult they have they have the difficulty to find their car after they shopping in the mall so we have to find the solution uh, for the for the problem the second one is to decide the technique from the of the nine in the of the nine imaging technology to sub topic that it should be used in order to big up the solution so we have to decide three technique of the nine topic either so what the best Te uh, three technique that we can choose from the nine of the subtopic, either it is the big data or IoT or and or many more. And the third one is to evaluate and make a survey, the purpose <coughs> make a survey, the purpose system towards user. So we have to make a survey to the uh, parking user in a mod. So next is the scope of the project. So we have two scope over here which 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 is number one is the parking user this is the most um, important role in this project because there there is there will uh, there is the problem there is because he, uh, there are the problem all right because uh, we because they want to find their car but it takes time and they do not know where the car are where they park their car after uh, they go shopping. So uh, next is the parking management. So we include the parking management because it is important for the future project. Alright, so the parking management is uh, contribute uh, in, in term of the project of the survey to the user and many more. So we need to include the parking management uh, people, the worker in the parking manage in the uh, management department. So that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Jason. I'll be continuing with the focus problem and also the related works. 
So in this project, there are three key problems that we have to focus on. And since our solution is to propose an app for this for this project, there needs to be some things that need to be solved before we can properly implement the app. So first of all, we need to have a way of gaining meaningful insight from the parking user's behavior. Parking users, they behave in certain ways, which if extracted properly, the information can be used in the app. So for example, how many times a driver might turn around the same floor to look for parking or uh, which locations that they prefer to park at, stuff like that. And then for the next point is how can digitalization of the parking space improve overall experience? What is meant by digitalization is the use of sensors in parking spaces where they are either on the ceiling or in the ground in the parking space. So with those sensors, there can be some information that can be obtained, such as whether or not there's a car there or how many cars are there in the whole mall and how many more empty spaces are there. So the next one is how to protect user data. This is very important because in order to make an app where there are personal data from many, many users, there needs to be a way to secure the data. So there needs, there needs to be implemented properly, otherwise the users will not have faith in the system. So next slide. This is a related work. Uh, actually, it's in KLIA. This system is used to find the user's vehicle. The reason why they need this system is because that there's over 5,000 parking spaces in KLIA. And imagine if you traveled somewhere for a trip, and then after, after having fun, after your vacation, you're going to have some trouble finding your, your vehicle. So this system will allow the user to search their vehicle by their plate number. Uh, that's it for my part. OK, thank you. Thank you, Jason, for your pleasure. Uh, so my name is Ahmad Fnahan Iqbal. So I will present about the solution proposed and the cost estimation. So the first solution proposed is we take a from the uh, nine uh, subtopic of energy technology. So we pick three. So our first pick is the big data. So our solution proposed for big data is we use to collect the information of car plate number, parking space available and other data that can help visitors to find <laughs> the parking space. This system will find the update number in data table that has been structured with the number of parking lot. So actually big data which will uh, collect all the data and will help the parking management to select the data using the their table. So next is the IoT is Internet of Things. So in this solution, we propose about the this can apply to the smart parking system as a sensor to detect the available parking space and detect the plate number. The sensor also will be installed in a certain area at the parking space and usually will be located at the top of the parking space, which means the sensor will be green if uh, have uh, do not have the car in that spot and will be red if the has car in the spot, as you can see uh, in the picture. So the third solution proposed is the cyber security. So in this solution, we propose about the important uh, cyber security is important because we can handle big data that contain the, the personal visitor data such as plate number and phone number. And next is the, uh, the implementation of cyber security is must to ensure data is secure and we still feel safe to give the information into the application. So actually this is one of the important because uh, as uh, my friend said uh, before, the user personal privacy is must be protected. So this is actually very important because the, we have the phone number here, we have the plate number. So the parking management must protect this uh, as the outsider cannot take this information. So it's, it's sure the, the safe of the data. So I think the cybersecurity is very important, main important in this uh, system. So next is the cost estimation. So our cost estimation is about 100,000 ringgit in our project, which may vary a lot. So actually this not include the physical parking spot. Uh, this does not include the, uh, the 
the physical package part which may only include the the maintenance the hardware the software on and the system which means this, this include the uh, the sensor the server how to maintain it how how system is being developed and as so the hundred thousand ringgit only include that part do not include the physical because that's covered by the shopping mall or oh, and that's it for me and i give it to the afnan all right thank you Pak An. assalamualaikum my name is mama afnan Hafiz, and i'm going to present my part which is impact so after a while analyzing the solution that we come up with well there are a lot of advantages that we can see um, there's three that I listed right there the first advantage is that user can save their time so by using the uh, solution proposed um, user can save their time by directly know where the, the user's car is located instead of um, trying to think and then trying to um, if they got lost trying to go somewhere that they don't they don't know maybe if they forgot them. Well, if they have um, a strong memory, it's okay. But these are for the um, the forgetful person. So next is accessibility. So in terms of accessibility, is that um, well nowadays, not in Malaysia, of course, um, overseas. Well, this kind of system still um, already existed, but um, they only uh, provide centers for well users to locate their car. So. Um, these users they need to go there first and then they can use the system so our our proposed solution um, requires the user to only have a smartphone on their own so they can access the system on their smartphone um, just like that and then they will know the location of their car and number three is profitable uh, this is going to be for the organization part uh, side um, they can well, gain a, li a little bit of profit from doing these kind of um, software. Maybe there's a premium feature where users can well get extra extra perks. All right, next. Um, these are the three disadvantages for um, our proposed solution. First of all, it may cost a lot of money to develop the application al and also to well to implement it in real life you know there's a lot of sensors that you need to put it costs a lot of money and then to power it on also costs a lot of money so um yeah it is costly so number two is privilege um people nowadays well most have uh, most uh, have their own smartphones but imagine that if you don't have any smartphones those these kind of uh these people they cannot access our system so it's a little bit of uh, unfair for them so this system is only for the privileged one which only has uh, which uh, those who have smartphones and number three is useless at critical times imagine if your phone that the battery is dead or maybe they don't have any data and they cannot use the system afterwards and next solution feedback so these are the surveys that we have um, uh, given to our users, our um, random users, um, how often do you go to malls? There's a lot of people go to malls, and do you have um, difficulty recalling? Most said yes, and then do you think that our proposed system will give a huge impact? Also, they said yes, and do you think the application suggested will be useful in the future? Yes, majority said yes. That's a good sign. Next. So future future enhancement. Uh, first of all, cloud computing. Um, for our proposed system, we use servers, local servers. So if you, we use com cloud computing, there's going to be a lot of advantages. Um, Downtime is minimized and etc. Next, uh, system integration. So the old system and the new system can be integrated um, with ease. Um, people with will know how to use the system very well. Next. Augmented reality, so AR um, can be used uh, in our system, so that um, they they will uh, have features like um, navigation for how to park safely and also to display the guidance and warning information for the driver by using the app. And I think that is all from me.
Thank you very much.